Recently, I've made some upgrades to my everyday carry, and today, I'm going to showcase all the things I like taking with me to work and on the go. Let's talk about it. I'm going to start with probably the coolest looking item in this setup, the Shargeek Storm 2 external battery pack. It's rated for 25,600 milliamp hours of capacity and has two USB-C ports, which are capable of 100 watts of power delivery, as well as one USB type A. These are perfect to not only charge phones and consoles like the Steam Deck, but it's also able to properly top off my 14 inch MacBook Pro if I need to buy myself a few extra hours of use away from the plug. But what makes this battery stand out above the rest is its striking design. Transparent plastic with this yellow button flanked on both sides by aluminum, it looks like it was ripped straight out of Cyberpunk 2077. In fact, it kind of looks like a blowy uppy device, which also may or may not have gotten me stopped at the airport a few times. Try again. But probably my favorite aspect to this design is its built-in screen which gives you plenty of useful information, including how much power is being drawn from each of the USB ports, as well as how much power it's taking in while charging, and of course, the battery percentage. I found this to be particularly useful, especially if I plan on plugging things into the device while the battery itself is charging. There's no guesswork on how much power is going where, which is really cool. If I have one thing I don't like about the Storm 2, however, it's the price. For $229, there are batteries on the market that offer the same feature set just without the screen or this cool design, but for half the price. But the markup could be worth the novelty for some people, at least it was for me. By the way, if you are interested in any of the things I talk about in this video, I'll have the links in the description below. In my quest to minimize the amount of cables I carry around with me, and also to complement this awesome yellow and gray color scheme on the Shargeek Storm 2, I found this funky looking modular USB-C cable for the setup. It's from this company called Aohi or Aohi, Ohi, whatever it is at the center of the setup is a coiled USB-C cable with a male and female on both ends. But look closely in particular on the female side and it has a screw lock that attaches to extensions that are included in the set. There's a short USB-C to lightning, a short USB-C to C, but if you wanna make this whole thing even longer on top of the coil, there's also a male to female USB-C extension as well. The idea here being that you can configure the base cable for your needs, but also have these extra ends that work independent of the main cable. Now, is this a feat of engineering that could be made simpler by getting each of the individual cables it's trying to replace? Absolutely. Does it look cool while doing it? 100%. On top of that, this cable is future-proof capable of delivering power at up to 240 watts. And it also has color-coded LEDs to let you know the charging speed at a glance. Hello, Mr. Nellis. Back rub. Back, oh, back, oh, back rub. Ooh, ooh. Oh my God, there's so many knots. Yeah, that was like rubbing cotton. <laughs> Now, while this modular cable kit is able to mostly power everything I have with me, it doesn't cover all of my devices. I still need the charging puck for my Apple Watch, as well as a short Thunderbolt cable for my Sabrent SSD for data. But overall, I appreciate how much cleaner my cable situation looks nowadays with this cable kit. To round out my overall power solution is the tried and true 130 watt GAN charger from Razer. It has two USB-C ports as well as two USB type A, which is all I ever really need. While it's also quite pricey at 180 US dollars, it's easily the most reliable wall wart I've ever owned. Personally, I haven't felt the need to check up on newer options, though cheaper alternatives certainly exist with similar watt output and ports. If you guys wanna see some, I'll link them in the description below. Where I stow most of these accessories is in this tech bag from Tripped. Built as a cheaper alternative to the Peak Design tech pouch, at 44 US dollars, it has a lot of pockets, zippers, and open space to organize all of your core essentials in one place. It's been handy to store things like my charging cables, as well as my medication, especially for allergies. No matter where I am, I have that with me. Also, I like storing my, oh no, oh, the Walkman's not in here. I'll run and grab that. <laughs> <laughs>
Even small gadgets like my Sony Walkman, which I featured on the channel not too long ago, and even my Playdate, which has been a fun handheld to play simple indie games on the go. Really, the only thing that won't fit in this bag is the Shargeek battery, which is honestly fine because there's a comfy spot in my backpack for it. But before I jump ahead to the rest of the pack, I want to take a moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Soundcore by Anchor, who actually had sent over their Soundcore Liberty 4 NC headphones phones a few weeks in advance for me to try out, and it's been living in my bag ever since. These earbuds are insanely good, with some of the strongest active noise cancelling I've ever heard, which came in especially clutch during some recent long-haul travel. Rated for 10 hours of playtime, or a total of 50 hours with the included charging case, it lasted almost the whole flight back from Tokyo to LA. Plus, it also fast charges, which nets you four hours of listening after 10 minutes in the case, and it also wirelessly charges over Qi. But of course, we can't talk about headphones without mentioning how they sound. There's a nice balance here of bass and treble that's wonderful for both movies and music. And this is especially the case if you're listening on Android over Hi-Rez LDAC and all of the detail that entails. All of this for $99 MSRP. Now I know this is a sponsored segment, but for real, I can't stress how impressive this package is. If you're curious about the Soundcore Liberty 4 NC, they're available today, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to learn more and pick them up for yourself. And huge thanks to Soundcore for supporting the content we do here on Denki Channel. And now, back to the next thing in my bag. As I've mentioned plenty of times in the past, my workhorse laptop of choice is this tried and true 14 inch MacBook Pro. Specifically, this is the M1 Max variant. We're talking 10 core CPU, 24 core GPU, as well as 32 gigs of RAM and two terabytes of built-in SSD storage. Even today for a laptop from 2021, this offers a lot of power for anything that we do here at Overclock Media, which is of course editing videos and writing scripts for Denki. And this isn't even mentioning the Liquid Retina XDR display, which looks so good, especially for watching content when the day's all over. All of this in a 14 inch form factor that has great battery life, it is still the best laptop I have ever used. This size of laptop also opened up my options for what backpacks I could get. And what I landed on is ah, this 20 liter Bellroy Tokyo tote pack. As someone that loves carrying tote bags, but also likes the structure and size of backpacks, the tote pack truly offers the best of both worlds. Shout out to Hannah Montana. You get the best of both worlds. Hannah Montana, got him. These nuts. <laughs> I've also owned a few Bellroy products in the past, so I know that the quality is there. I love the dual handle up top, which is convenient since I commute by car, and it's nice carrying the bag from my trunk to the office. But if you want to carry it on your shoulders like an actual backpack, open up this outer compartment on the back and you'll find two padded straps. Clip them to the bottom with these two hooks and it converts to a proper backpack pretty easily. On the whole, this thing looks handsome in a simple kind of way. And it also might look kind of thin, but I promise you it holds a surprising amount of stuff. Remember, 20 liters. On the inside, there are a few compartments that help to organize your stuff. Along the back, there are a pair of sleeves, one of which fits my 14 inch MacBook Pro, though you can fit up to a 15 inch laptop in that. And the second one is smaller, but comes in handy for devices like iPads, e-readers, or some documents. On the sides, there are these pop out pockets that are perfect for water bottles, glasses cases, or specifically for me, that Shargeek Storm 2 battery. Plus, there's an internal mesh pocket that's great for any odds and ends like business cards or mints, as well as two outer pockets to stow things like keys or anything you need easy access for. Fill all of these compartments up and there's still a good amount of vertical space and depth to stuff our bag with stuff. Drop in our tripped tech pouch, which conveniently has a top handle for easy reach, and there's still some room to play with, which is important to have just in case. Get it? Just in case? Who's Justin? Oh my god. <laughs> First name Justin, last name Case. Oh, will you look at that? There's a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> 
For example, if I'm traveling somewhere abroad, I might have a roller bag with me with all of my clothes and whatnot, but generally the daily bag that I explore around with at my destination generally stays the same. In this particular case, the addition to this bag might be my long wallet where I carry my passport or maybe a thin windbreaker in case the weather starts to look dicey. Sometimes for work, I need to film stuff on location and don't want to lug around a large bag of gear. So for this, I like using using a camera cube, this one's from Coolertron, to stuff in the tote pack. It can fit things like my Sony FX3, a lens, filters, battery charger, and this awesome wireless mic kit from DJI which I'm actually using right now. The cube makes this gear pack fairly compact, which allows it to fit in the bag fairly well, though it still will feel a little chonky if you're wearing it on your shoulders. But again, it's kind of like a tote bag. It's easy to carry by the handles if you're running into the limits of what 20 liters can hold. And that's pretty much it for the stuff that I carry every day. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some inspiration for your own everyday carry. If you have any recommendations or suggestions for your fellow viewers, drop them down in the comments section below. And otherwise, thanks for watching this video on Denki Channel.